Now back here at home, gas prices are soaring, causing the cost of just about everything else to also rise. And today, President Biden announcing the U.S. will no longer import Russian oil. It is a move expected to make gas prices go up even more. The News Nation correspondent Kelly Meyer is live in Washington following all of this for us. So Kelly, the president did this all while knowing the potential impact of it. That's right, Nicole. This is a decision with big political risks, knowing the impact it would have on gas prices here at home. But President Biden was facing growing pressure from both Republicans and Democrats on Capitol Hill, threatening their own action if Biden didn't cut off Russian energy imports. The president preparing the American people directly today, saying this move is going to cost us, but adding it's necessary, he says, because it is going to hurt Russian President Vladimir Putin more. The move from the Biden administration today will block any new purchases of Russian crude oil, certain petroleum products, liquefied natural gas, and coal. For shipments already on the way, they will have 45 days to complete the delivery. It also bans U.S. investment in Russia's energy sector and bans Americans from investments that flow into Russia's energy sector. The president saying this will hit Russia's main artery, one of Putin's main sources of revenue, further isolating him from the rest of the world. Take a listen. And the American people will deal another powerful blow to Putin's war machine. This is a move that has strong bipartisan support in the Congress and I believe in the country. Americans have rallied support, have rallied to support the Ukrainian people and made it clear we will not be part of subsidizing Putin's war. And it's not just the U.S. moving to cut Russia off. Today, the U.K. said it would begin phasing out Russian oil imports with the goal of eliminating them by the end of 2022. And Europeans heavily reliant on oil have not matched the Biden administration's move. But the EU announcing today it plans to cut Russian gas imports by two thirds before the end of the year. The U.S. is less dependent on Russia for oil. Last year, it only accounted for less than 10 percent of all imports. But the administration is looking at ways to offset the the loss. The White House is looking at potential deals with Iran, Saudi Arabia and Venezuela, which has been barred from selling oil to the U.S. since the Trump administration. All right. So, Kelly, what else is President Biden saying about this already rising cost of gas? Well, President Biden says the cost is going to go up. The president placing the blame on Putin, saying Russia is responsible. But he adds there isn't much he can do right now. And he also had a warning for oil and gas companies looking to profit off the crisis, saying he will not tolerate any price gouging. Nicole. All right. Kelly Meyer live in Washington. Thank you. Well, while Russia's invasion and more sanctions are sending those gas prices skyrocketing, state taxes also play a really big role. Just today, the price of gas has gone up 12 cents with the national average now more than $4 per gallon. And when it comes to gas tax, the average is 57 cents with California pumping out the highest state gas tax, 87 cents per gallon. Correspondent Nancy Liu is live for us in LA. So Nancy, lots of people are asking if putting a freeze on those gas taxes would help. Well, Nicole, it certainly bring prices down a bit. We are at a Shell station in L.A. known for sky-high prices, even when there is no global crisis. But today, a whopper, pretty much seven bucks a gallon for regular. The huge price disparities all over the country due to a variety of factors, and a big one is gas taxes. With record high prices, never before has the pain at the pump brought on the hurt like this. Ride a bike. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Probably, yeah, probably ride a bike. Yes, In LA, going to this centrally located shell always means shelling out way more. It's depending on my day and where I'm going and what I have to do and. Yeah, so if I'm in a jam, if I need gas, then I'll just go where I need to go. Price shopping can pay off big. Gas Buddy shows prices nearly $2 cheaper at stations less than a mile away. Prices everywhere are always pumped up by federal, state, and local government taxes, which account for about 17% of what consumers pay. We're asking people to, to, to basically buckle up. No, we need to do, we need to give them some relief. We need to give them some hope. As lawmakers in New York push to suspend the state tax there, a similar effort in Illinois is facing pushback. The American Council of Engineering Companies says the short-term help is not worth it in the long run. If we don't make the adjustment here, it could cost the road fund and the Rebuild Illinois program half a billion dollars over five years. That's a lot of projects that would be outside the scope of the program then. 
price shock is clearly pervasive as we hear from our News Nation stations. I'm Cody Butler in Dunmore, Pennsylvania. Gas prices affecting most of us across the country. Here in the Keystone State, the average price at the pump more than $4.30. Businesses like Dunmore Appliance are adding a surcharge to all deliveries. I'm Matt Paddock here in Warwick, Rhode Island. We're, we're seeing historic highs when it comes to gas prices. And here in Rhode Island alone, we've seen two straight days of record setting prices at the pump. I'm Ben Dennison, Richmond, Virginia. Never before have people seen gas prices like this of 66 cents in one week, 82 cents in a month. Now, there is a Senate proposal to freeze the federal gas tax of 18 cents per gallon for the rest of the year, but that money goes towards paying for bridges and roads and other infrastructure, and it's money that many in Congress refuse to cut. Nicole? Yeah, I think we're definitely just going to be dealing with these prices for, for quite a while. Nancy, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.